Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my themed run of this week's Nightfall, which is Arms Dealer, and the theme this week is Deepstone Crypt. So, I'm, as you can see, I'm doing it on the Hunter, Bottom Tree Gunslinger. I'm using the Succession Sniper in my Primary slot, Trusty in my Energy slot, and Commemoration in my Heavy slot. So you might notice, I don't have an Unstoppable weapon on, hence why we're doing it on Golden Gun. Uh, Celestial Nighthawk will give me, obviously, the big one hit. Super, I'm using Bottom Tree on, on Celestial so I get the crit damage and all the rest of it. Usual kind of mods on the chest plate and the, the, the armor. Obviously, I only need anti-barrier because I don't have an unstoppable weapon on. Now, Infernal Whip basically means solar melees will stop an unstoppable. So, with my dodge, I think I've got Gambler's dodge on. The dodge will get me my throne knife back. So, I'll have two stops per champion. What could go wrong, right? So this is my third, but not my final run of this week's uh, featured Nightfall. I have another Grandmaster. I've got a Hunter Grandmaster. And this one, this one's cra <laughs> Even when I was thinking about it in my head, it was crazy. Uh, because I wanted to do... Uh, I wanted to do the cheese. I wanted to do the grenade cheese on the Hunter. And I know that there's a way where you can throw uh, stasis grenades and, and all that stuff. Not being the biggest fan of stasis and never really, I don't think I've ever used it in a, in a Nightfall run. I didn't want to start now. So I wanted to do it on Void because Void's the thing this season. We'll just stop him again. And I'm not going to... So you'll notice I don't dodge and get my, my melee back all the time. If I don't need to, I won't. And I'm not going to... I'll have... I'll have my throwing knife back before... You know... Uh, I'll have my throwing knife back before we need to stop the next unstoppable. Uh, I make a couple of mistakes with this champion. I think it's the last time I do it. Which is reloading at the wrong times. And as you can see here, he almost fully regenerates. So I should should have reloaded my scout rifle there. Miss him with one shot there. But luckily, we get the break. Now, a little thing about barriers, just to clarify. Uh, for anybody that has any issues with stopping barriers, you need to be ready to stop a barrier before he puts his shield up. As soon as he puts his barrier up, he's going to start regenerating. If you can hit him as soon as he puts his barrier up, he won't regenerate. If you hit him with a crit... You should take half of his barrier down. That's on Grandmaster as well. Now, the trustee is doing it on Master because, and the trustee doesn't hit very hard. It, it, it compensates with fire rate and burn. If you've got a bow that does explosive damage and you hit a crit, that's half of his shield, especially if you're matching the burn. Now, if you don't have explosive payload on, uh, explosive rounds, then what I would suggest is Frenzy. And if you've got Frenzy propped, then you're good. So make sure you're ready to break the champion shield. Before, you know, put your shots on and then switch to your barrier. And the minute he goes to put his barrier on, it's, it is almost immediate. Put a shot on him, a crit on him. And you'll see it takes half his health away, but he doesn't regenerate at all. He doesn't regenerate any of his health. So... My sniper's going to be my main weapon in this because the succession, I've got a little bit of history with the succession. I love this sniper and I, I've done, I've used it and uh, Master, I, th I think when i done the Insight Terminus GM, I think I might have on one of them or even the Master on it, I might have used succession when snipers broke barrier champions. Very, very good. I know the God role was... I don't have the god roll. The god roll for that weapon was Vorpal with Reconstruction. I have Reconstruction on my uh, uh, Commemoration, the, the heavy machine gun I've got. I have Reconstruction there, so I will, I will uh, accumulate, I think it's like 105 rounds in a mag, because it reloads it to double its magazine size. Very good weapons. Uh, I actually got told to use this scout rifle in Crucible, and I did for a little bit, and it actually is, actually is okay if you get the right map. You get something with a little bit of range. This thing, 
it's hard to play against. I, I was quite uh, taken aback. I seen a Crucible video recently talking about uh, is it Aisha's Embrace, the new scout rifle for Trials. Don't believe that video where they said it was really bad. It's not. It's very good. So it just the person that made the video, not very good with that type of weapon. So it's going to be kind of difficult to. to not to commentate, but to explain this, because I think most people watch the runs. Uh, the, you guys you guys know how we do this, right? We're, we're going to do this exactly the same way that I would do this on any master. I do it slightly differently on Grandmaster. And like I've already said, I will be putting up a, a Hunter Solo of the GM. That, and, and I was thinking about this. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put up first. This one I might put up, so it's Saturday today. I might put up the Grandmaster tonight and put this one up tomorrow. And then that'll be it for this week. Uh, I did get asked about my my Nightfall video where I speak about the problems with Nightfalls. Uh, it's getting the content. I know it's going to sound weird, but I've still got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do and... I just don't know what sort of content to put behind it, but I know exactly what I'm going to say in the video, so hope maybe as a kind of surprise package, that one might go out before reset as well. No promises on that, because even the Titan, I've managed to incorporate the Titan build video into an actual Nightfall video. I think it was last week's themed run. Uh, I can't really incorporate the problems with Nightfall into a Nightfall video, because it would take up most of the video. You know? So... Uh, I have, as I've already said, I have some exciting news. I think I might have already told you guys. I've got some exciting news that I'll leave till the end of the video. I am very excited about it. This isn't one of those where I'd like to announce my new sponsor. Uh, no sponsors. I've been offered them, but I, I do this for you guys. I don't, I don't do this for money, you know? If I wasn't making videos, I'd still be doing this stuff. So, you know, I, I don't do this to make any money and I don't do this to get famous. I do it to help. Which is why I do get burnt a little bit by if, if I get, like, some crappy comments. Because I think to myself, dude, if this video isn't for you, skip over it. But th th this video is for some people. You know, these are the first real kind of entertainment videos I've ever released because... You know, I'm using off-meta weapons just as, like, for entertainment value. I never thought I was ever going to do anything like that. But, hey, here we are. 2022, year of the comedian. <laughs> uh, better than year of COVID. Let's hope that goes away. It'll never go away, but let's hope it ducks its head down a little bit. Because, you know, I think at this point we're all sick of it. Uh, and I hope... I do genuinely hope you guys are okay and, you know, I don't worry about you guys. <laughs> I'm not your dad, but, you know, I just hope, I hope everybody's okay. It's been a, it's been a real horrible couple of years. Anyway, let's get back to more light-hearted subjects. I'm about to finish the boy. <laughs> I'm going to jump over here, mantle, because that's what you do before you finish. So I was told. Uh, and, and then... I don't know why I'm still finishing these guys, because I don't need the heavy. Same rules apply, we're gonna get to the we're gonna get to the ramp and then take out the champion because we still want platinum. No cheese here, this is gonna be a legitimate it's not legitimate. I'm gonna do kill everything and move forward. That sort of run. I don't have a problem with doing the grenade strat. I may be done the grenade strat in year one. Uh but I've done this so many times, legitimately, as some people might say, that I don't feel like doing it like this is a problem. Because it's not like I'm relying on this strategy to get it done. And I'm not showing you guys a strategy that you need to kind of crutch on. Because it's not too difficult to actually do it the other way. But just for efficiency for the GM, it's more efficient to do it that way, right? But doing it where you kill everything and, you know... The only reason you would do it like that consistently is is to say 
Hey, I can do it this way as well. You know, it, it, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what way you do it as long as you, you know your your strategy works. And this strategy has been around since year one of Destiny Two. So, you know, I have no issue with using this as a strategy. Get the reload on, and then hit his face with a couple of snipes, and then break his shield. Do you see how what I was saying? If you want to break his shield quickly, you have to be shooting his uh, barrier before he puts his shield up. I wasn't quite ready with that. And he regen even in the time it took me to switch from my sniper to my scout to start shooting him, he'd regenerated a just a tiny portion of his health. If I hadn't have shot him, he'd have regenerated more. So maybe even give yourself the, the leeway of... Uh, Give yourself the leeway of missing a heavy shot or not taking that extra heavy shot just to make sure you can keep him from regenerating and take his shield down efficiently. Now, I thought I'd done it in this run. I don't. There is a way where you can, you know, it's not, you can't do it quite like right now because there's so many ads outside, but you can actually stand in front of the tank and take the tank down. There is a way to do it. It's, it's not a cheese, obviously. It's it's playing the mechanics of the tank. The tank, the tank charges up as you you guys already know. The tank will charge up his big cannon, which I should add at this point, you can't actually shoot the cannon off him. I just have never ever bothered doing it, but you can do it. The tank fires. It's if you imagine its cannon as like a fusion rifle, right? Has to charge. You see it charge him. And then I moved. And it went from being pure bright. See how it lights up there? It went from being pure bright to not firing. Because it can't charge and readjust its aim at the same time. To readjust the aim, it has to cancel the charge and readjust. So as long as you're moving, he won't fire. Now, there are obviously circumstances where that doesn't work. The only circumstance where it doesn't work is if he can't see you. Then he'll just fire at the last place that he was aiming at. You know, because he's charging, and if he charges and fires at you, he'll just keep firing there till he sees you again. You have to give him a moving target for that to work. And I've been doing it in this Grand Master. So... Again, just because because we can do more damage to these champions, what we're doing is we'll entice this this uh, unstoppable. And the GM, I, I would only entice him down if I could get him finishable down here. But uh, in the mast, I can bring him down. I put four sniper shots on him and then just hit him with a whole bunch of heavy. You see, even the heavy, though, he's, though he is stopped. Uh, sorry, he, he is unstoppable. You do about a quarter of the damage when he's when he's unstoppable. When he's when he's not being stopped, he's always unstoppable. Even when he is stopped, an unstoppable champion. But when he's not, when 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 you've stopped him, he takes four times the damage that he will take before you've stopped him. But even with that, because of the power levels we are, this is a 1580 activity. If you're 1585, you'll do, you know 1585 to 1590, you'll do the same damage I'm doing. I'm not even as powerful in this activity as I could be. I could be, I think I think the max you can you can uh, get in here because you can over level any any activity by 20. So once you, if you could hit 1600, crazy numbers. But if you could hit 1600. That would be the most powerful you could be in a Nightfall. Nightfalls would then kind of feel like Heroic Strikes. You know, because you can only overlevel it by 20. And I think, don't quote me on this, I think that your power level or damage within an activity increases every five power levels. So you go into something at 1560, when you hit 1565, you do more damage. 1570, you do even more damage. 75, you do even more. 80, you do even more. I think that's the way it works, or that is the way it used to work. But again, I don't want to hang my hat on that one, so uh, forget I even said. 
<laughs> but no, I am going to actually test that one. So, because uh, we're in a master and and all the rest of it, I just jumped up there just to get a, a good a good line of sight on him. And you've seen there, the sniper just destroys. And uh, now I took out his front two. His front two. Uh, wheel based cover things and because I'm moving he might not fire unless see how he readjusted and I kind of stayed in the same area and then he got his charge off like there if you're not constantly moving you can't stay in the one position for more than like a second and a half or two if you do it gives him time if he fully charges he'll fire and that's when you can you can allow him to do that and then move. But if you just keep moving, he'll keep cancelling his charge. Now, I did have it one time where I was doing that and I got him to cancel his charge like six times and then he eventually just... just fired anyway. So there might be a limit to the amount of times you'll do, you can do it before he has enough of you and just shoots at you anyway. Again, only works if he can see you. If you go and hide behind a wall, he'll just shoot at the wall because that was the last place he saw you. So, again, I do this quite a bit with these unstoppables. I get one low, and then I entice them down. And if it's Grandmaster, I'll entice them down. He's normally... I normally don't entice him down until he's finishable. I'll just put the four shots on him. Now, I think what I do here, because the machine gun does do a fair bit of damage, I think I'm just going to try and kill this unstoppable. Now, when you come outside the doorway here, that's about as far as they'll come. They won't chase you outside this hangar doorway. There we go. So I'll put the... Because we've got uh, reconstruction, we can just... We don't have to reload. We can just put put the put it away. Put the, the machine gun away. And there we go. He never took a lot of damage there compared to what I expected him to. And just see if I can put a couple more on them. I've got uh, lead from gold, as I've already said, on this machine gun. It works with, you know, obviously you can regenerate your own special by picking up heavy. And you'll see here, even if it's a brick you drop from Lucent, uh, Lucent Finisher, uh, you'll, get, you'll get special with that heavy as well. So we'll just take down the last of these enemies. Then open up the doorway, and then we will go through, and that will be the last kind of room before the boss. Now, I try not to kill this kind of big yellow bar, this uh, unsan is it unsanctioned blaster. I try not to kill him uh, from down the bottom, because if you do, then you're going to have the dogs running about. And I prefer not to have all these dogs hiding when I'm trying to take out the unstoppables. So this is where... Our final room before the boss room. Gonna have an unstoppable, two barriers, a whole bunch of red bar, a couple of phalanxes. The boss is gonna be floating about, and we're gonna have uh, turrets. Scorpius turrets. So, I'm gonna do it roughly the same way that I that I do do this in, 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 in the, the GM or whatever. Uh, take out the first, the first unstoppable, Sometimes I jump up and take the first phalanx, other times I don't. If I jump up and take the first phalanx, then from up there, if I look around the corner, I can take out some Scorpius turrets there as well. And I can see, so if I jump up here, sometimes when you jump up here, you see that that ad teleported? Sometimes a barrier champion teleports up there. And then from up there, if the Scorpius turrets are already up, then you can take the Scorpius turrets from there as well. So that's the three Scorpius turrets. Here comes the, the unstoppable. Same fare. Throw to throw on, throw on knife. Dodge to get it back. And then hit him with, hit him with uh, three snipe. Three crits. And then I'll back away out the door. If you go out the door, he normally comes so far. And then he's not interested. And then we'll just we'll, we'll push him. And just get him to come back. Still peppering them, 
He has finishable. And there we go. So, now, that's the unstoppable. There's two barriers. And there's a heap of these red bars. You've got to be careful with these red bars. Because even when you know where they are, they can teleport out your way. It's, it's, this section can be really kind of buggy. Just, there's one of the, there's two uh, honor phalanxes. There's that guy. And then there's one in the same place, but just to the right. You can just, maybe just see the top of his shield. We jump up here and get a bit of elevation. There he is. And because we've got barrier, uh, anti-barrier on, we can shoot right through his, his barrier. And from where we are, we now can see the other, the other champion. So we've got the shield break. I'll reload this, the, the my scout rifle. And we'll just hit them. Because normally, when you get one of the, the snipes as a headshot, normally it stuns them enough like, like that, where you can get another one. You know? So if you're going to put three or four shots on a barrier, you need to stun them at least once, knock his head back. And it keeps them in place for the next two shots. Then you can switch to your scout rifle. So there'll be, there should be, the, we know where the other barrier is. We're not going to take any of those from here. So I'm just wanting to see, I think, I think the barrier done something funky here. Can't remember. Yeah. So he just, he just ran away. Uh, which is fine. We've still got quite a decent amount of sniper ammo We've got full sniper ammo almost so we're just we're just gonna put it on the barrier we I knew he was gonna do that I, 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 I didn't want him to do it but I knew he was gonna do it so we'll get another headshot on him I should have used that five shots that I had because five is enough to break his shield I had a real issue with him. And the reason why I'm having the issue, it's not him. It's me. I'm having an issue because I'm, I'm being too greedy with my shots. There we go. If, if, you, if, you, if you, as I've already said, if, if, if you don't get too greedy with your shots and you, you know, you, you uh, switch weapons get your barrier weapon out if it means not taking another shot with your your heavy weapon whatever weapon you're using for your heavy then fine it's more important to take the barrier shield down so just having a little look for for am ammunition got a bit of special there because i am i'm a little bit dry in the special there's still a scorpius turret up i didn't realize we'll just melt that down see what we've got up here We've still got four or five enemies. Five, five. Still got this dude. He drops some special. And then we've got the four that come off of here. So we still might be able to pick up. Well, we've got full special now. So we might be able to drop some special on the on the left. And there's those guys down. There's always one. There we go. And now we're on the left up to the boss. We'll just see if I can pick up any more. I can't. Now, if you need special, and you've got full heavy, and your special has lead from gold on it, if you want to extract the special from that heavy block, that heavy brick, just shoot uh, one, one of your heavy. Just shoot one of your heavy. And it, even just shooting one of your heavy... We'll get rid of the. We'll get rid of the. The brick. You'll only pick up one heavy. But uh, you'll only pick up one heavy. But you'll you'll pick up whatever special you would have picked up from it. So I've took all the Scorpius, uh, the volcanic Scorpius turrets out. And unfortunately, you might have already noticed, he. Uh, Managed to hit him there. We'll get a couple more. There we go. He, uh... 
I, cu I couldn't get the crit on him because his armor's in the way. So now we're going to get a bunch of ads come in. He's going to shield anyway. And we're, we're doing this as if it's a GM. Good place to hide here. I'll just take out this uh, thresher. Might as well use some heavy. I haven't been using heavy. Now, as you see, I've got the turning back. You can move back there and come back out, no problem. And then we'll just finish the rest of these ads and then go and get our unstable core. Put that in and then he'll jump down. We'll just take out the Centurion's shield, which the explosive damage does a bit of damage to the ads around. So you can see I pick, I've picked up uh, a few special going to the wrong place for the unstable core. Now I've realised because I can't see what's in front of me on the screen. I think I was looking at something else. I just automatically ran there. Now when you pick up the unstable core, you will get three ads come in from a drop pod. And there'll also be three ads where you, where you uh, are going to slam the core. Now another thing which is pretty good is when you build up precision when you when you hit precision hits with uh, with the subclass on you get super energy back. Just take him down. You see their practice makes perfect and they've got knock them down. If I think it's if you've got twenty seconds or more on the clock when you when you when you use knock them down, uh, you do extra damage with your super. Now what we'll do here, as soon as he lands, just start putting that on him, and it was unfortunate, but we took we took uh, the turret when the shots. There we go. That's what would have happened in the first section. Uh, if I had a hit the precision I lost 150,000 damage I'm just trying to put an extra couple of shots on him and now I'm going to go down here we're going to take out this uh, the ship I'm going to take out the thresher once we can clear some dogs and I'm just going to use my heavy because that's what it's there for and go straight on to straight onto these uh, straight onto the, the thresher and there we go and I'm picking up a nice little bit of heavy as well a special so we'll just hit kind of head glitch him a little bit Just throw a grenade, go on back into doggy. And then once we clear these enemies, it's going to be the same thing again. We're going to have the unstable core, which we will go and pick up. When we pick it up, we'll get three enemies come down the drop pod, and then three enemies over by uh, where we're going to slam it. Boss will drop down. We should have what heavy by then. Uh, what super? Sorry, <laughs> we've already got what heavy. We should have what super by then. I just used a lot, a bit more heavy, just to uh, just to clear up any ads that are about. I can see behind me there's red on the red on the radar. I haven't noticed it, or did I? I I, I did see red. I don't know where that red has gone now. Take out some of these jumping ads. There we go. Yep, there's the red. I have seen it. The melee, because because I'm using the unstable core and it's solar, does a lot of damage just using this as a melee weapon. But I wouldn't suggest meleeing through whole teams of ads. Because if two or three of them hit you at the same time, you could be left in trouble. So once we take down these ads, we've got our super. Uh, once we take down these ads, 
then the boss will come down and we're going to try and finish him as quickly as possible. Although, I don't think my super just... just I think I need a bit more than just my super. And I am going to go over. So what we're going to do is, is, is drop that, uh, put this in. Just picking up any special. Watch him for the boss. Where is he going? Pop my super. We've got big damage on him. And luckily, we, uh, we managed to get out of there. I did get hit by the snipers, so I'm using the boxes in the center as cover, and I'm just going to move over to the other side. It's it's my kind of go-to kind of safe place, and then I can I can have a look from him here. He'll come through the center. There he is. I've missed him with every shot so far. Got him there, and then we'll. Just finish them off here. There we go. That is the themed run for this week. Deep Stone Crypt. Got uh, a, another duty bound. Couple of rewards. So that is the last normal run on this this strike. I, as I say, I, I do have... I will put up the other Grandmaster on the Hunter. And I think you might enjoy the build. It's... it's it sounded crazy in my head when I thought about doing it, but <laughs> it worked perfectly. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run. I certainly enjoyed being here. Uh, if you do like the video, give it a like rating. It's highly appreciated. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.